Don't you love it when you're sitting here trying to figure out how to flip this phone? Hey, what's up everyone? This is JJ Burden coming to you live with another coaching point. This one's called Good Days and Bad Days. All right, so I'm out here again. I'm running and it is sunny here in Scottsdale. It's stinking hot too. It's already 101 degrees. It's supposed to get up to 115. But I'm out here getting my run in and I'm running. I'm thinking like, okay, what exactly am I doing? Well, the whole question really reminded me of a concept of when you have those good days and you have those bad days. I'll share a quick little story. So when I was in the NFL, you play nine years, obviously you've got your good days, you've got your bad days. You've got those things that you can control and you have those things you can't control, like maybe the competition or the front office, what they think about you. Maybe this coach likes this player and they don't like you. There's variables you cannot control, but there are things you can control. So when we have those bad days as professionals, we still have to perform at the highest level. We want to keep our jobs, we want to take care of our family, we do what we need to do. And I'll tell you, one of the challenges as a professional athlete was the weather. I mean, when we had to play in weather that was either, you know, wet or it was snowing or it was really, really hot. Seriously about the hot, the hot weather too. Training camp was so hot. It was ridiculous. It would be about 110 degrees. You're wearing pads. You're doing two practices a day. And yes, you're hot, but you've got to figure out a way to still perform. You got to do what you got to do. So what I used to do to be able to prepare, prepare for those days is during the off season, I would train twice a day. I would train in the morning, get my weights in, and then in the afternoon, I would get my running in. And I would choose the hottest part of the day when I was up in Portland, Oregon, which is usually between two, three, four o'clock. And I would do my two hours of route running and getting it in. Why? Because that prepared me for training camp. Because I wanted to show, no matter what the elements were that I was battling with, whatever challenges I had, I could still be consistent. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm running today. Yeah, I'm not a pro athlete anymore and there's some things I cannot do, but I like to challenge myself because anyone could just come out here and let's say run about 6, 6.30 in the morning. It's nice and breezy about, you know, it's comfortable. Maybe have my wife with me running. Nice, she can, we can kind of push each other. Anybody can do that, but can you go out there when it's 101 degrees by yourself and still get it in? So let's talk about you specifically because this is what this is all about. We all have our good days. We all have our bad days. It, it's part of life. It happens. So no matter what we're going for, whatever we're striving to achieve, whatever the goal is, whatever we're building, my question to you is, because I know you can perform on the good days. Who can't do that? Everything is falling in place. But to perform at the highest level, you've got to be able to do it also on the bad days. When things aren't going your way, when life does get in the way, or as Susan Sly says it, you have those wall kicking moments. What do you do? Do you shut it down? Do you quit? Do you whine? Or do you strap it up and you just find a way to get it done? So that's what I want you to do. Challenge yourself. And when you're having those bad days, this is what I want you to do. Take a sticky note and write on there. Say, I'm having a bad day. What am I going to do about it? Question mark, question mark. Because your answer should be, I'm going to make it a great day. Why? Because we have that kind of control.